What if there is one scene from your life that explains your whole life? And this is a scene that is an integral part of your memoir. Hello, I'm Brenda, this is Write Your Story, and I love to help you to write your memoir. I came across this concept of one scene that explains your whole life. In this book, Your Life is a Book, How to Craft and Publish Your Memoir, by Brenda Peterson and Sarah Jane Freeman. I was just 63 pages into the book when I came across this concept of one scene that explains your whole life. And when I read what they had to say about it and then thought, okay, let me see if I can apply this to my life, my book, what would it be? I actually found that it worked. And I was so excited about it. I thought this I have to share with my viewers on the YouTube channel. So let's get started on what if one scene can explain your whole life. So the idea is to actually find a scene of your life that is either the first scene that you can really recollect as a child, the one that most often pops to the surface when you're thinking about and going back into your childhood, or a scene that you know is actually a pivotal point of your life. And to take that scene and to actually unpack it and see what it says about who you are as a person, what was happening in your life, and how it's played out in the rest of your life, that actually it becomes that one scene that tells the story of your life. And that actually is the scene that you can have in your memoir at a crucial moment in your memoir that all the threads actually feed into and come out of. All right, I'm going to now explain to you what I did when I read this and how I applied it to my scene, my memories, and how I actually found that it worked. This scene actually is in my memoir, which is really good to know. And for those of you who have my book, and I know that increasingly more of you are actually buying my book, and I thank you for that, I really appreciate it. If you have my book, it's the opening scene in chapter 12. The point isn't actually what the scene was about, the point is how the themes from that scene have played out in my life. And this is the, going to be the point for you too, to find that scene, to describe that scene, to know what's pivotal about it and to draw your themes out of it and how that scene actually has played out in the rest of your life. When I went through this process of which is the scene that comes to the fore, it kind of just appeared. I'm well aware of how much this scene actually impacted me. And it's a scene from when I was at the age of six. And I'm at home with my mom and my dad. And those are the three characters in the scene, my father, my mother, and me. And my whole memoir is about unpacking my relationship with my father and my mother and me. And in the scene, the actual scene depicts this whole theme of how close I was to my mother, the distance I felt from my father, because even in the scene, he's physically removed from my mom and from me, his drinking, He's reserved, he's distant. And those are the elements of my relationship with my father. Reserved, distant, drinking. With my mom, close. And those are the themes that come through my memoir and played out through my life. And then there's something that happens in the scene where my father breaks my heart. It's a small act of violence. And I say a small act of violence because it's not a brutal act. It's a small act, but it's still violent. And it impacted me so that it broke my heart. And that now becomes a theme that I play out in my memoir, where I find my father repeatedly breaks my heart. And I try to draw close to him. I try to draw near to him, as I do in this scene, trusting him only to find that he breaks my heart. And so this pattern plays out time and time again in our life, until one day I decide enough. This pattern cannot continue. I cannot continue to participate in this pattern. I've had my heart broken once too often, which is also in the book. I need to change. What am I going to do? I cannot keep repeating this behavior. And that is a theme I discuss in my memoir and unpack. And I can see the roots of it in this scene, the one scene that explains my whole life up until the point I decide enough, I'm going to change. Another key theme and element of my memoir and of my life in the scene is alcohol. 
the alcoholism of my father and how that played out in my life, how that directed me and sent me to my first relationship and my first marriage with an alcoholic. And so this scene is actually really pivotal in explaining so much about my life, so much of how things played out and so much of what I unpack in my memoir. And so what is that scene for you? Take the time that even if it seems like an innocuous scene and you think, oh, well, this was just such a simple scene. What's the importance of this scene? If it came up, if it's the one that came to the fore, it has some importance for you. And take the time to now look at it through the lens of how it played out in your life. What were the themes? What were the emotions? And when you find those and you unpack them, those are the elements too that you're going to bring to the reader. This scene needs to be in your memoir and it needs to come in your memoir at a point that actually has that emotional charge for the reader. Because when it has that emotional charge for the reader, it's going to stir something inside of them. So the question then is where do you position the scene? I think there are two really key places you can put it. You can put it right at the beginning where it's strong and it plays out and it sets the scene for your memoir. Or I noticed that mine in chapter 12 of 18 chapters was actually two thirds through the book, which is really quite the normal place to have the build up to the climax. And it's part of the rising action, but it's right near the peak of that rising action and the climax. Your scene will know where it needs to be in your memoir as you write your memoir. And that's why I always encourage you to trust the process. So I hope you're getting the idea of how actually crucial this one scene is and how it can impact your memoir. And that's why when I read about it and then applied it and saw the richness of it in my own memoir and in my own life, I wanted to share this with you. It's actually huge. If you're interested in getting this book, it's down below in the links so that you know where to find it and you make sure you get the right one. One of the gifts I've got from writing my memoir and from putting that scene in my book and talking about it, I could receive that scene without the hurt of it because I had dealt with it. I had vocalized it. I had brought it into the open. And once I dealt with the hurt of it, there was an understanding that came from that scene I'd never seen before. And I'm not gonna go into the depth of that because it is personal. But in knowing that, I actually realized I had now seen a different perspective on that scene altogether with regard to my father. And it essentially comes down to hurt people hurt people. And I came to accept that about my father. He was acting out of hurt. He was not acting out of nastiness and revenge, even though that's what it looked like to me at first. And then I also came to understand that as long as I'm hurt and continue to be hurt, I will also hurt people because hurt people hurt people. And that gave me a really good way to embrace that scene, to see the hurt and the brokenness in it from my father, from me, and see it completely differently and then live my life differently. And so that is my wish and my hope for you as you write your memoir that your stories will bring healing to you and to others, and it will release you to live a wonderful life. So that's a heartfelt video for you today. I'd love to hear about your stories. Thank you for following along, and I will see you in my next video.